going to say, we're going to talk through a double of exercise now. So, this may seem like it's only relevant if you're like, going to the gym, but actually the technique of doing the deadlift is going to be really important just for lifting kind of you know day to day stuff. The same principles apply when you're lifting your children. Um, so I have no problem with people bending their thighs. That is absolutely fine. Our backs are designed to move and bend. However, if you're picking up something fairly heavy and you're doing it with a rounded back. So, for example, a child, then if you're repetitive and doing this again and again and again, then it's not going to be the greatest for your back. And also, we're wanting to try and get other muscles starting to do a little bit of the work and share some of the work load. And so, we're wanting to try and get the muscles of our hips working a little bit more as well. So, I'm just going to show you um, a deadlift technique. I'm just doing it with, with kind of two fairly light hand weights just to show you so if you're doing that at the gym then you might be doing it with a bar but like I say I'm really discussing it more in terms of so it can apply to just kind of day to day stuff as well and like you know like I say picking up children and, and, and those type of things or even you know I've had um, people who maybe had some um, pelvic health problems who've been worried about picking up Anything you know, even like a, a wash basket full of like laundry or something. So you can apply some new principles, um, and and hopefully it will make lifting kind of more beneficial for you. So I'll just show you the lift just to start with. Okay, so then I'm going to talk through a couple of the things then that you're looking out for. So hopefully I was demonstrating it um, well there. So what I was trying to think about when I was doing it, is I'm trying to think about the back of my neck staying long. So I'm not kind of getting my chin kind of poking out because that's going to affect the lift. I'm trying to think about... Um, so, so it's not a deadlift, it's different to a squat. So if you're doing a squat, you're kind of sticking your bum back a little bit more. A deadlift, you are tending to keep your, um, you know, you're getting quite a nice stretch through your hamstring muscles. But what you're also thinking about is keeping that little bit of a natural curve in your lower back. If you start to let your lower spine curve under and you're getting that curve through your lower back, then again, it's not, not as good for you. Your back when, it's, when you're doing it and you're not utilising some of your hip muscles to the same extent. Now in terms of for um, relating it back to the pelvic floor, then you're going to want to add in um, your, your breathing with it maybe as well. So often once you've done this for a little while then it becomes automatic that or, you know, you, you do this pattern of breathing when you're lifting, so it's not something you're always having to consciously think about. And actually, the main thing is just that you're not holding your breath. So, if you're lifting and you're maybe doing the breathing in a slightly different order to what I'm going to suggest, then that's fine as long as you're not holding your breath. And if you, you know, it, it depends. Sometimes we need to start to retrain um, our breathing and our pelvic floor if we've had some issues. But if you're not getting issues, then as long as you're not breath holding, um, then, then that's okay. But what I would suggest having a go at doing, like say, especially if maybe you've had some pelvic floor issues, um, would be that you're going to do um, a nice full inhale, a so nice full breath in on the way down, you're relaxing your pelvic floor muscles, and then you're going to start to breathe out. You can, you can either trust your pelvic floor muscles to do that natural lift as you start to breathe out, or you can cue your pelvic floor a little bit if you feel that you need to, um, and, um, and be getting a little bit of a lift with your pelvic floor, and you continue to breathe out as you bring the weights up. So, I'll demonstrate what that looks like. Within the stage of pregnancy I'm at, I'm not going to be doing a great job of 
feeling a nice thought in the halo because my diaphragm hasn't really got the room now to be able to get that full exposure down. Um, but I'll kind of do my best to demonstrate kind of what I'm going for. Okay, so it was going. Hopefully you can maybe see and hear kind of what I'm doing as I'm doing that. So I'm doing my inhale that's lasting um, kind of on, on the way down and then I'm starting to exhale just before I start to come up then I'm continuing my exhale as I come up. So give that a try and see how you get on.